calendar you are using was invented by Pope Gregory. How many of you know that? That calendar you hanged in your house, that calendar you are seeing, the person that invented that very calendar is Pope Gregory. Now, history have it that Pope Gregory removed 12 days from the original calendar. I am going to prove it. Remember, I have never said anything without proving it. Now, they tell you 30 days of September, uh, pre June and November, February 28 alone, and all the rest of 31. Do, 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 ti, do. The one for you can understand this very song. Now, I want to prove that this song lied and that Pope Gregory is a liar. He's a Pope. I want to prove him to be a liar now. Now, say this along with me. 24 hours makes one day and one night. Seven days makes one week. And the four weeks makes one month. Four weeks makes one month. Is that correct? Seven days makes one week. Fourteen days makes two weeks. 21 days makes three weeks and the 28 days makes four weeks and the four weeks makes one month did you see now that a month is supposed to be 28 days and not 30 or 31 i told you i'm always here to debunk some lies i'm always here to dissect diffuse some errors that has been handed over to us down from history in the book of daniel 7 from verse 1 it was prophesied that the romans will come and change the laws the status times the ordinances and the seasons of the most high and they have succeeded whether you like it or not open in this very broadcast please repent and follow the laws the ten commandment is what you have to follow any other thing is not welcomed allow me to repeat seven days makes one week 14 days makes two weeks 21 days makes three weeks 28 days makes four weeks and the four weeks makes one month do you know that all these women are listening oh my then again those of you women who are listening the cycle period in which a woman sees her mens men menstruation is 28 days are we communicating a woman sees her menses majority of you some of you that sees it late before then you have infection but the cycle period in which a woman sees her menses the menstrual flow of a woman is every 28 days are we communicating do you also know that the moon on one the moon comes out every 28 days and do you also know that a moon determines a month in Igbo we say ta won won hono. and some people are stupid enough that they don't understand what they are saying now i want you to be very careful on 30th of december come out in the middle of the night you will see a moon in the sky on 31st december also come out in the night you will see a moon in the sky on 1st january also come out in the night look up in the sky you are also going to see a moon in the sky are we communicating now my brother some evil people will say that january 1st is on one one i want you after this very broadcast keep it on our home some people that they are not reasoning enough their medulla is not comprehending some facts some data data is a rough form of information they, 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 their, their brain is not comprehending some data you are saying that which means you are saying that there is a new moon now you are telling me that january is a new moon and in Igbo, in Igbo, we say, Abba, no, 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 no. Please, ask that person, on, 30, on, on 1st January, is there any, moon, any new moon in the sky? The answer is no. The moon you are going to see on 1st January is the moon that has been there since December. So on 1st January, people say, Abba, no, 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 no. Go out and look up in the sky on 1st January. There is no new moon. The moon that you are seeing on 1st January is the same old moon that you have been seeing on December. So, 1st January is not a new month. It is not on one one because there is no new moon. Are we communicating? Allow me to repeat. On 1st of January, people said 1st January is a new moon, for example. 
and in Igbo language people say abano wonhuno i want to ask them you said abano wonhuno on 1st january did you see any new moon in the sky the answer is no now what makes you think na abano wonhuno a moon determines a new moon without a moon there is no new moon so when you say abano wonhuno you have to check if that day you say there is on wonhuno whether there is a new moon in the sky if there is no new moon there is no wonhuno if there is no new moon there is no new moon any day that the moon comes out is first. Have it at the back of your mind from today henceforth that any day you see a new moon in the sky, that day is your first moon. Not what Pope Gregory told you in the calendar. Pope Gregory lied. Do you also know that sometimes in the middle of January or maybe at the ending of January, they will tell you, that they have sorry sometime at the end of january the new moon will come out and ignorant people will not understand that that moon that has come out that they have entered a new moon a new moon according to the natural calendar when the almighty was creating the heavens and the earth there is nothing like clock there is nothing like calendar so there is a natural calendar that was given to us and that is the moon a moon determines a moon. So that is why the creator gave us the moon. So that we can understand when a moon ends and when a moon starts. The calendar you are using is man-made. When the creator was creating the heavens and the earth, he, there was no calendar there. So, are you not asking questions about what you are practicing? Ask yourself, how come this man came and told us that today is first and tomorrow is second? When there is something up in the sky that can tell you when a moon will start and when a moon will end. Common sense have to be applied. We must continue. We have to continue. A moon, a month is 28 days. Now, coming to February, they told you February is 28. Are you seeing that error there? They told you that September is 30 days. They told you that February is 28. And they told you that the other ones are 31st. My brother, can't you see there is deception somewhere in history? A moon determines a moon. The Almighty created the moon for time and the season. Now he said he created the sun to rule the day and the moon to rule the what? Night. Now this man is telling you that February is 28th. And September is 30. And the other one is 31st. And you are not asking questions. Whereas a moon comes out every 28 days. And a moon determines a new moon. Without Obro no one no. There is no new moon. Somebody is telling you that a month is 28 this month and the other month is 30 is 30 and the other month is 30 is 31. You can't ask questions. January is not the new year and it can never be. The new year starts around the middle of March. Go and read the book of Exodus 12 and Exodus 13. Read these two places. These two places confirms that a new month and a new year starts around the middle of March. And it is not called January. It is called the month of Abib on a sun. I'm going to prove it in my next broadcast. I will give you the history of January. January was gotten from a god called Janus. In ancient Roman and Greek mythology, if you are careful with my history, you will understand that all these errors are mentioning Romans and Greek, Romans and Greek, Ro the Roman. They are the ones that have been causing this rubbish. All these errors. Everything is Roman. Constantine is Roman. Pope Gregor is Roman. All these errors, Roman. In the Roman happen on I can be You people should leave us alone. The same Roman Catholic Church is changed Saturday worship into Sunday. In the year 321 AD, they told you that Sunday, a lot today people are going to church on Sunday. Ask yourself, you that cannot read it, you don't have brain. Because if you have brain, you ask yourself, which day is a Sabbath day? Is it Sunday or is it Saturday? But I'm going to teach that maybe in my next broadcast. January was gotten from a god called Janus. You can google whatever I'm saying. You can make me a research in whatever I'm saying. Janus is the god of transition. Now the ancient Romans and Greek believed that Janus saw the present and the past. That is why every 31st December, Nibola and the one I'm sure, on 31st night people will start praying. People will start talking nonsense ah, for Baraka Lao, ah, for Lao. they are now thanking Janus that he has seen them throughout that very year and he's also going to welcome them into another year wherever you see the picture of Janus he has two faces because they believe he saw the present and the past go and check it up go to Google type 
Janus and the January. Go to image. You will see that wherever Janus is drawn, he has two faces. The ancient Romans believe that he saw the present and the past. The same way in, in Igbo land, in Igbo cosmology. Ikenga. The ancient Igbo believe that Ikenga, he has two faces. He also saw the present and the past. Some of you don't know history. That is why they deceive you. At first, I see people, people will be shooting knockout. Jehovah's Witness is not part of all this nonsense. It's only Pentecostals and the Catholic churches with Anglican. Practicing what they don't know. No wonder in the book of 1 John 4.20 it says, You people are worshipping what you don't know. But we Jews, we practice what we know. In the book of Zephaniah 1 verse 8, it says, I will, I will punish those of you who are practicing pagan tradition. And I will also punish those of you who are dressing in foreign attire. In the book of Jeremiah 10 from verse 1, it says, those of you practicing foreign customs and tradition that is not, part, that is not a custom of the children of Israel, that the Almighty is going to destroy you. All these things you are practicing, you have to ask questions, the history and the origin behind all this nonsense. You don't just go and practice something you don't understand. The lies of Catholicism, we have to expose them. There is a language called the Vulgate language, V-U-L-G-A-T-E. This is a language that only the Reverend Fathers knows this very language. This is the language they used to communicate only to themselves. During the age of Papa Aussie, they would tell you, no, go Bible on My grandmother told me that when they were children, when they were very little, that they were told that you don't have to read Bible. Only the Reverend Fathers will read the Bible so that they will feed you with the lies. What is seminary school? Whatever they teach them in seminary school is actually what they, what they learn from the school of Alexandra. What is celibacy? Celibacy is a cause. Celibacy is a cause upon, upon cause. Celibacy, my fruits. You, you don't want to marry because you are a priest. How, how, am I, how am I even sure you're a priest? Because Hosea 6 verse 4 said, My people are perished because of lack of knowledge. Now verse 5 said, People read only verse 4 and they keep quiet. Verse 5 said, Because you have rejected the law, I will reject you as my priest. They will tell you they are not under the law. That means they, somebody who cannot keep the law cannot be a priest. Because Hosea 6 verse 4 to 5 confirms it. I think I've said enough for today. From me, from here, in this early hours of the night, I say good evening to some of you and good day to some of you, depending on where you're listening.